Welcome back to Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. Roman Gabriel the third, your host on another Saturday night as we hope you're enjoying a great weekend and uh, we'll set you up, of course, coming here in a few minutes on the upcoming NBA semifinals results as well as the uh, finals in each Eastern Western Conference. We'll also talk some NFL football, uh, specifically NFL draft number one quarterbacks, which were a plethora of quarterbacks taken in the first round. And I'm going to tell you who I think are going to be the most uh, successful early on, the ones who are more projects, and uh, we'll talk some NFL, and we'll get you set up uh, for a great weekend as you finish it off. Our guest, Tony Bromley, with us. And uh, Tony, of course, has great years of experience in business development, sales, and marketing, the media world. And if you want more information uh, about him, he's told you to go to Tony Bromley. You can see all about Teen Town Lifestyles, BMX Riders, the new reality series on fuel that's coming up, which he'll continue to let us know about, and uh, you can see some great uh, video about those things as well. But he's the president of a nonprofit organization called the Dr. Bernard Steinberger National Fragile X Syndrome Foundation. Uh, Tony, why don't you tell us about that? Okay, uh, the Dr. Bernard Steinberger National Fragile X Syndrome Foundation is a nonprofit organization, 501c3, and uh, Fragile X. If nobody knows what Fragile X is, and it's, it's so ironic that a lot of people don't know what it is, which is the most common cause of autism and mental retardation and Asperger's. And, and it's dealing with the X chromosome, Gabriel. It's the X chromosome that a, a man uh, has an X and a Y, and a woman has two Xs, and on the X chromosome has 23 pairs and 46 individual ones. And on that 46 individual one, it's mutated. What that means is lack of protein. So when a child is born, they're disconnected. Their brain is disconnected. And, um, you know, a woman could have a mild, could be a mild carrier of that. So um, about two years ago, um, the, the board of directors came to me and was, was well, basically, in, you know, April the 20th, uh, 2009, it was Sandy Steinberger came to me and she asked me to be the president. They thought I was qualified to be the president. And why they asked me to do that, because I've helped. Um, other charity organization in terms of donation and raising funds and, um, you know, like Food for the Poor and St. Jude's Foundation and several others. And, you know, I had to pray to God to say, you know, if, if is this the task that God wants to take me on? It took me two weeks to get back to them. And I, and I took on the, uh, the task and I never looked back and I, I prayed and God has lead me in the right way, in the right path. And what we're doing is, um, you know, we're, we're, we are raising funds to take care of children that has these uh, disadvantaged disabilities and uh, it's about 98 percent of women are left with these children because the, the father usually leaves the home because they can't deal with the kids like you know uh, with, the, with these disabilities so what we do is look we look for women and um, that that's going through these uh, challenges because they have to give up their lives there's no medical assistance um, so we come in, we raise money for that family, and uh, we, help, we help the child get the assistance that that, that child needs. And uh, also, we, uh, you know, we're educating the general public uh, about Fragile X, because a lot of people don't know what Fragile X is. The second thing, we're, we're an advocate. Um, we just recently, we went into one of the schools in Broward County in Florida. Uh, this kid was uh, uh, failing, I met with the mother. She was a single mother with four kids. and. A child was failing. When I sat down and talked to, it, to the guidance counselor, then I spoke with the uh, the child. Uh, we we diagnosed him, and um, absolutely, he had fragile X. And uh, when we, but well, he had a mild. He, had, he was a mild carrier, so we could work with him. And we started to implement certain things with the school with him. His GPA was like one point, one point two, one point three. Was very very low. We bought that up over two because we started to. Um, you know, uh, uh, showing some different things that what we've came up with um, that could help him. So the fact is that we're doing a lot of research and development also to, to correct the cause. We have a genetic testing center in Boca Raton, Dr. Denker, where we're telling couples before you get married, please get tested because, uh, you know, we like to educate you a little bit more to if, if, if you have children, you know, what you're going to be, um, what you're going to be uh, in for, uh, basically. So we're just out there just educating and, and helping, uh, you know, uh, families that has um, Asperger's and Fragile X. Now, Tony, we found out last night the most popular television show uh, going, American Idol, which has been that way for quite some time, that uh, James Durbin, uh, the young man who's a very talented singer, uh, suffers uh, from 
Asperger's and as a child and also functional uh, autism. So uh, I thought that was really interesting. A very talented young man, but shows that uh, these things can also be overcome. Uh, absolutely. It, it can with uh, different programs uh, put in place. And I'm going to tell you something, Gabriel. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people, a lot of children has misdiagnosed. A gentleman from the NBA, um, from the NBA, an ex-NBA player came to us, found out, you know, all his, for 18 years, he's been, his, his child's been di- uh, misdiagnosed with, with autism. What he had was on, you know, when we took him into one of our doctors, in, on the neuro, uh, a neurological doctor, he had a speech impediment. Something was wrong on his left side of his brain. He was livid because that's, these are the things that we're finding out because a lot of children are misdiagnosed also and saying that they, they have autism. So um, we're educating, we're helping, we're advocate, and, um, you know, we're trying to make corrections in, 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 in these diagnoses. Tony Bromley, president of the Dr. Bernard Steinberg National Fragile X Syndrome Foundation, our guest on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. And, uh, Tony, if they want more information and find out more about how they can help or more information about this, where do they go? Go to FragileXKids.org. FragileXKids.org. Kids. Org. Right. Great. Uh, so if you want more information on uh, so important the work that uh, Tony and his group are doing, and uh, we're, we're very excited to know that uh, there's so much research going on and, and some breakthroughs being done uh, for autism and, and Asperger's and some of these others that uh, start very young in terms of identifying this. And uh, But uh, it is able to be overcome, and uh, we're just thankful that uh, the Lord has you out there working and, and raising money for this very important issue. And uh, Tony, Teen Town, people, again, they want to go to Teen Town. They want to find out more information about that. So be ttyc.com. Okay, so ttyc.com, and then you can go to Tony Bromley uh, on Facebook. That's B-R-O-M-L-E-Y, Tony Bromley on Facebook, if you want to see some of the great stuff he's doing, especially this up-and-coming fuel program, Lifestyles BMX Rider. And, uh, Tony, make sure that you let me know when that's getting ready to come out so that we can let people know about that uh, and that you're working really hard. Is so many, uh, and this is one of the things that I've tried to get across to Christians out there, is that, so many Christians, because they're listening to the mainstream media and others out there, they think that there's nothing going on. Well, uh, you and so many others, uh, like ourselves in the sports world, and we have so many friends out there who are in Hollywood working hard to put together well-done faith and character-based programming. We've talked to so many executive producers of so many networks who, who believe and have identified that faith-based programming is critical, that there's a huge audience out there for it. So. Uh, are you optimistic for the future uh, that we're going to be able to compete at a high level out there? Absolutely. We, we will compete and we will capture our market space uh, in the media industry. And it's happening as we speak because uh, families uh, are, are, taking, are taking back the uh, main street by force. And um, people are looking, you know, families are looking for more uh, um, films and programs that's clean and that they can sit as a family again and, and watch because. Look, we're losing our kids. We're losing our kids to uh, you know, uh, you know, to the to the uh, to all the other garbage that's out there. You mean the radio? They're listening to the, the the kind of music and watching those programs. So, I believe that we will capture our market space and we'll capture the families and uh, um, and, and install those family values and, and biblical principles back into the family. Do me a favor out there. Be in prayer for Tony and his group. Go to Tony Bromley at Facebook if you want to give him some words of support and prayer regarding these projects he has going. He's got a lot of good things and a lot of biblically-based uh, truths that he is uh, executing out there in the market. So uh, we'll be in prayer for you, Tony. I appreciate you coming in on Sold Out Sports Talk tonight, and uh, we will be in touch very soon. And uh, all the best uh, for not only Teen Town but for the Lifestyles BMX Rider Program on Fuel coming up and uh, all your work that you're doing with the uh, – Bernard Steinberger National Fragile X Syndrome Foundation. Thank you very much, Gabriel. Thank you for having me. All right, Tony. Appreciate it. See you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.